Hello, and we are also live on Facebook. Hello, hello Facebook, Facebook world. world. Okay, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let me Hi, just bring, everybody. bring us down like this. <laughs> Okay, and now I have to join you guys. Instagram, stick with us for a little bit. We are, I am going to join you live. I know you can hear my voice, but now I actually have to uh, send request and then accept request on a different phone, accept. So in just one second, I will be with you as well. Yeah. Here I am. I'm so low. I feel like I need to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? I'm sitting on a bar stool from our showroom. Yeah, yeah. Your camera is a bit different than mine, and uh, it's just uh, yeah. I have it. I have my right. laptop yeah. on a on a elevated laptop mm -hmm. platform thing, and mm -hmm. like, it's a whole. Mm -hmm. If you guys only knew the amount of wires. Anyway, <laughs> the amount so. of wires. That's true. <laughs> All right. So Kim, set us up. What are we talking about? So today? this oh, week this. we are together. Yay! We are reunited. Yay. Happy New Year, so everyone. Good. I mean, it's it's only like January fourteenth, right? We're like Happy New Year. <laughs> but you know, you were Miss Lucky over in Mexico, while all of us here. Yeah. Shovel snow. <laughs> we're shoveling snow and I was late last week to our uh our episode because I was shoveling myself out of my driveway and I just thought man Vita and Vitaly are sipping cocktails right now we were. <laughs> and Carlos and I are here we are digging ourselves out but uh anyway pick a good time to go I agree you did, you did. <laughs> so it's so great to be back with you and I hope you and your family had a lovely holiday and a nice, nice. much needed break um I know we did so it was it's nice so it's nice to, to kind of kick off the year um together so for mm -hmm. episode number 81 we are going to be talking about um our favorite installs of 2021 now full disclaimer and asterisk it wasn't very easy to select which ones were our favorites of so course. it's like children you don't really have a favorite but <laughs> stephanie gave us this topic and here we are <laughs> <laughs> and it's always i feel like yeah. it's a good topic to start off yeah. the year you either end with it or you start with it but it's always good to recap the yeah. previous year of course we don't have three hours to recap the year. Yeah. So we just had to pick two projects each and just give you a little bit of a glimpse into what we did in 2021, which were some of our favorites. Yes. All right, without further ado, okay. let's go ahead, Kim. So this particular project, um, it actually and truly was one of my favorites. It was um, a project that uh, we did with uh, Campbell Minister Designs and it was for the show George to the Rescue. So um, if those of you who are watching are not aware of George to the rescue the show the premise is um, George comes in and fixes up spaces for um, kids that are um, sick and whatnot so for this project window works not only donated the labor the installation and for this one we also picked up the costs on the fabric from oh, wow. fabric cut. yeah so yeah for this one we went all should the the fabric was donated from Schumacher for the brothers room and for this space here um I just went ahead and took care of the fabric I worked with Angela Rizzi and we just decided I just decided you know what Kimball I'm just gonna handle this one for you oh, so nice. for this space here yeah we um campbell transforms this uh, little girl's room um into kind of you know to kind of bring it up a notch her and her brother were sharing a space mm -hmm. and um it was time for them they're at the ages where you know it's it's fun when you're sharing a, a you know a bedroom with your you're sibling little. And you're little but then once you kind of get to those older ages you want your own space you're into your you know you're each into your own thing especially if it's a boy and a girl you're not always necessarily into the same thing so um yeah yeah very I, nice I, lo I love the lavender color and everything so kind of light and airy and very girly so what we had to do here the challenge was because this was an attic um that they transformed into an attic bedroom so there was only really one window and um having it room darkening was not a priority because it's always you know again in bedrooms it's what the number one question, how do we like to sleep? Mm -hmm. So um, by um, by them not needing it to be room darkening, um, Campbell selected a really light and airy fabric, kind of looked like a watercolor. And because of the slanted ceiling, we decided to go outside mount and really bring the height of the window up to continue with the space, especially mm -hmm. like with the angles of the window. So that was something that was really important to me. Um, when I looked at this, I said, I know we have space inside, but let's go up. 
let's continue to bring it up because the ceilings, I know she's a kid, so like she's not that tall, but you know, eventually she's gonna grow. So mm -hmm. let's just make it feel as tall as possible. So we installed it above the molding mm -hmm. um, as high as we possibly could go without hitting nice. the peaks and whatnot. And so, yeah. yeah, this is how this one turned out. Awesome. So I know you have four pictures from this project. Yes. So, so you let me know when you're ready to, okay. call me to click so on it. And this, this window here is actually the stairwell going down the steps um, from the attic to the second floor. So again, we didn't want to leave this window untreated. Uh, I said, let's 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 do it. This one, we also went up a little bit higher. This window, because of the conditions, there was no inside mount. So we decided, let's just install it three inches above. Um, made the cord a little bit longer, so this way her parents could reach it, because that window was pretty tall. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's that window And there. it's the same fabric as the girls room, yes, right? And the yes, same because, color in the hallway. Because, yeah, because we just decided, Campbell decided to kind of just make it one big unique space. So she painted the stairwell mm -hmm. the same color as her bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then with George to the Rescue, not only do they um, redo or the room for the child who is sick, they also uh, do something for the sibling because a, a sibling who is not the child who is sick you know oftentimes not that they feel like it's all about my other my brother it, it, there's it, a, it, possible to get a bit neglected right. and that just you, you don't get as much attention paid to right, you right so that's a really cool thing what they uh do there so what we did here was um we did inside mount roman shades uh so that this way uh we kept it clean kept it simple He's mm -hmm. a very big Manchester United fan. So I Campbell, think we have that next. Yes, yes. Yeah, there so you go. <laughs> Campbell picked a Schumacher fabric that was red and white. So this way it kind of went along with the theme. And because of the placement of the furniture and whatnot, we just thought we wanted to bring some softness to it. We could have done something simple like wood blinds or whatnot, but she wanted to bring the softness. So we just thought, let's just do some simple Roman shades as well in here and uh, call it a day and i really love the way that it came out and just seeing their look on their faces during the episode um for the reveal was really great and getting to be a part of it was was awesome it was our first time doing george the rescue my first time doing george the rescue and being okay. there at the end with the live with the taping of everything was pretty oh cool you were too. there at the mm -hmm. end as well oh yeah. my goodness that's yeah. pretty cool now, i'm not really familiar with the show what channel does it air on so it share it, it depends on where you're located um there is a youtube link that um i can see if stephanie can find the link for us but that's how i ended up watching it was on youtube okay. um, but is it like an hdtv type thing no, it's, or? On NBC. it's on NBC. And okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but gotcha. it, it all depends on like what time it airs. I know the episode, the, the Saturday that our episode aired, um, something else interrupted the time because I, I recorded it. I was at a wedding. Luann and I were both at a wedding for an old uh, uh, team member here at Window Works. So okay. we're like, oh, it's George the Rescue. And I remember at the table, I was like, I'm just going to record it on Hulu right now. And then I went uh -huh. home to watch it. And I was like, this is not George the Rescue. It did not work out. <laughs> no. Aww. So then, uh, Billy uh, found it on YouTube and sent us all the links. So it was pretty That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. We have the opportunity this year to do a project for Make-A-Wish Foundation, nice. also in collaboration with one of our designers. So, um, and obviously there's, we're so happy and excited to do it for her, for this designer and for the foundation as well. And also hearing about your experience just really kind of validates and empowers me, I think, to do to be even more excited yeah. about it. And I, I mean, over the years, Window Works has participated in a lot of show houses. There was Grace's house that we did three, three or four years ago, where the house had twelve rooms. We did six other oh, rooms wow. there. Yeah, Luann was on the board Holy for the moly. show house. So, um, so yeah, it was just something that, you know, anytime I have the opportunity to volunteer our time and our expertise and whatnot, I'm, I'm going to do it. So yes, definitely do make a wish. It's it's totally worth it. Yeah, I'll we'll keep you posted on the yes. show. There we go. So we'll share pictures. <laughs> All right. So the next uh, project, I'm going to share four pictures from this project, is from um, a designer, Zidoma's Design. I featured Rose. Rose Zeferino is the owner of this firm. I featured her here on the show many times. She is a wonderful, very talented designer in the Philadelphia area who specializes in working with custom builders. 
around the Philly area in helping the builders with selections as well as the homeowners with their selections and taking it beyond just the basic selections and into some of the design work, i.e. window treatments. So this was an amazing project that we did down the shore in Stone Harbor, South Jersey. And uh, what was really incredible about this is the family itself. Uh, so it was the uh, husband and wife, so the mother and, and the father, and they have um, three daughters okay. and the daughters are fully grown and the daughters have their own kids that are not quite fully grown, but probably range between like, let's say five and 15. Mm -hmm. and the daughters are married. So there is whatever the math works out to be. There's like more than 10 of them, maybe 15. And so they're building this what they're calling compound <laughs> down the shore where they have this house and then there's a pool house and then there's a pool in the middle. So, um, you know, compound has the connotation of being huge and sprawled mm -hmm. out. So imagine doing a little, it's, it's a little mini compound down the shore where, you know, your lots are yeah. out big. Family, family court. That's what me and my family want to do. So we want to make the family court down the shore. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what they had. They have yeah. a family court family and court. so this house is just uh, unbelievable. Um, just really incredible. So, um, yeah, so we did all the window treatments that were incredible to work with, very agreeable. They knew exactly what they wanted. If they liked something, they were like, yep, that's what we're going for. If they didn't, they were very specific about what they didn't like. So it gave us a really great opportunity to find something that they that they do like versus sometimes clients are like, well, I don't know, maybe this, maybe that, you know, you present them with like 50 different selections and then you're like exhausted at the end. You're like, okay, can you just please decide? One. You, know, you, just, you just like, you know, you really need to understand yourself first and be self-aware before you bring other people into this thing. So yes, this is something self-awareness and, and really knowing what they wanted was not their problem, was totally their strength. They were the nicest people to work with. So just the whole experience has been really incredible for us and the end result was was really terrific too. This particular nook is in their kitchen. We did a lot of woven wood shades. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we did a lot of non-white woven wood shades, which was really kind of cool because mm -hmm. I'm getting a little tired of the white <laughs> matchstick shades and the gray matchstick shades. So it's really kind of cool to bring a bit of color into, into our houses. So this was cool. This is um, in their great room. So just off the kitchen mm -hmm. where you saw those two woven wood shades on light. This is a like a woven wood, but more of a like a curtain, um, a verde. Is that yes, right? it's called a verde. It, called it, almost, right. it almost looks like a ripple fold drape. Exactly. So right now it's it's closed and it's a bit hard to see that it is ripple fold. Um, it looks a bit flat, but that's exactly what it is. It is it is a ripple fold mm -hmm. drape. It goes in and out like that in sort of an S curve, and then here it splits open, and you can see that Rose um, had. You look at look at the ceiling. I mean, how mm -hmm. what amazing architectural detail there. But then bring us down over to the design part of it or the decorating part of it. Look at that chandelier. I mean, that's yeah. just really incredible. Also, kind of woven wood, natural fibers inspired chandelier there and that's how we came up with the idea for a verde and again you know it's really hard with shore houses you have these huge expanses of windows and doors the ones that you need to shield from the heat you need to shield for privacy because the houses are you know as close as in Italy so it's really um, sometimes becomes oftentimes becomes very very challenging yes and that, so. th then the other challenging part is the view so depending on where the house is located it's, I need to cover my big sliding glass doors, but then I have a lovely view and I don't want to cover the glass. So then right. we, we oh, can, it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it, it, get, it gets pretty, pretty insane. But the one point that I want to make here for those watching us is you guys, when you are work designers, watching us if you are working on either a shore house or any house with large expansive sliding glass doors and for whatever reason you do not want to use drapery, the woven wood drapery, quote unquote drapery is one of your solutions. So think of that as an option and definitely explore that with your window treatment professional. And they do stack pretty tightly too. That's why mm -hmm. yeah, I don't think I have an open picture here, yeah. but it would have been nice, but yeah. maybe next time. And then, so we're continuing with the trend of woven woods and again, non-white woven woods, which I 
am excited about again. So, <laughs> so this was really cool. And then um, check out the wallpaper, like super geometric kind of bambooish like oh, wallpaper. Yes. yes. And check out the rod, Kim. You bamboo will rod. Love it. Bamboo rod. Do you remember bamboo rods? Like even ten years ago, but yes. more like fifteen, and they were everywhere. I mean, I feel like we did bamboo rods everywhere with big pine cone or like palm tree type of finials. Can I just tell you? we searched high and low for this bamboo rod really? we rarely able to find it we were nobody carries them anymore not in this i, I forget now if was it this diameter was it this color was it this width but it, it took us forever to find this bamboo really? rod. Mm -hmm. yep it was quite a challenge well i finally installed my rod <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for your girlfriend. <laughs> I have window treatments, folks, in my living room. Okay, are we going to do an episode on Kim's house pretty soon? <laughs> we we can we can do one. Um, I'd have to figure out the mechanics of it, like how, where to set up the computer and the camera so you can see it. It might oh, have just to take be, pictures. We yeah, can yeah. do the same thing, okay. but just even right. with pictures. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's finally up, and that's the one thing that I will tell you that if you don't think that hardware um, doesn't matter. But when you pick something totally unique, it totally does matter. Because um, uh, my sister and my cousins who know nothing about window treatments that at first didn't even notice that I had window treatments up, that the paper shades were gone. <laughs> that was the first thing that they said. Oh, really? wow, you do have the thing. They're like, that rod is really pretty. It's really wow. different. And I was like. Okay, you okay well, now that you've totally whetted our appetite, can yes. we please tell Stephanie to do Kim's house as one yes. of their future episodes? We, we, we can, we can. 38 East is going to be going up soon. So yes, yes, totally I can't wait. Uh, we just got your books, by you the way. Did? Comfort, yes. well, initially, Comfort Tech sent us the um, swatches, uh -huh. and then um, the, the rep called me around the holidays, I think uh -huh. maybe right before Christmas, he's like, I really want to send you the books. And I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. So a big I shout out to Comfort were, Text for their um, You were on my list because they're like, send me a list of people. And I was like, duh, Vita. <laughs> oh, so, so yeah. I have you to thank that. I was going to thank the rep. I don't, I don't, I don't thank know. The rep. <laughs> thank the rep because you were, I had made a list of like all window treatment people that I wanted to send it, send them to. Awesome. With a uh, comfort text account, I know. I know we're going off on a tangent here, folks. I know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. We haven't seen yeah, each other in two weeks. <laughs> That's exactly it. I have more girlfriend. I it know. was Christmas Eve, um, New Year's, Year's Eve, Eve, and then last Friday. Three weeks. We have not. I have not done this. I have not seen you for three weeks. That's where we're so excited. And <laughs> if you think about it, I didn't do it for three weeks either. Prior with like Thanksgiving. And then, right. then I was on vacation. So that's right. That's sorry, right. everybody. You're just we have a lot here. of pent up excitement happening here. <laughs> We're excited for the year and what I window know. treatments are to bring. So anyway, all right. Ooh, well, I'm also excited about this. I do have a video. You can tell when there's a picture of a remote, remote. there's going to be some motorization going on. Oh. So yes. Yeah, so not only did we treat the inside of the house, but we did the outside deck. So these are motorized roller shades, screens. They go down. They're guided down these cables so that they don't flap all over the place. And uh, you can see there's four shades. They're very, very difficult to install, super, super heavy, which, you know, I, I'm realizing as, as I say that I'm telling this to you who does um, <laughs> awnings for a living. So you're like, oh, girlfriend, this is nothing. You should try to put up an awning. Yeah. Nonetheless, this is, this is our highest good. So, but you see how pretty the views yeah. are. So, speaking of the views, you can still protect yourself from you know the bugs and the flies, you know everything that the shore brings, and at the same time still see the view. Also, pro tip: something that I actually learned from Rich here um, on our team that when you're doing outdoor shades, I know everyone wants to select white, but if you select black, you could actually see through it clearer. You can. That's true. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, black. Well, not a lot. Black um, makes the view a lot more clear yeah. and better than the white. Correct. Um, but I think you also have to go. You have to balance out the yeah. black color, and you know, it makes it darker. It makes it heavier, yeah. and how you want to feel um, versus it. anyway. So there's all yeah. these decisions. That That's a whole into. another episode on exterior screens that we will do. That we shall do. Okay. Okay. You, so this is a project of a retractable awning that we did. Um, like what Vita said, we also do um, awnings. We have our whole awning side. So I didn't want to just talk window treatments. I had to talk about awnings. So this is a pretty big awning that we did for a, uh, a deck 
Um, as you can see, the deck is multiple tiered um, and the clients really um, wanted to shade this area. And I know from experience with awnings, um, I don't know, I, I probably have said this a couple of times before, but my parents bought an awning from Window Works, okay, in 2001 or 2000. Um, uh, so, and I didn't even know it until I started working here in 2008 that our awning was from Window Works. Oh, really? Yeah, I had no clue. No clue that Vinny had been to my parents' house, met my parents, and my first day working at Window Works, I was looking through old paperwork, and I'm like, oh my gosh, my awning that my parents have, they purchased it here. So I can That's tell you that, call. yeah, Talk about small world, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a full circle moment there. But I can tell you that um, having a retractable awning, my mom loves it. It's definitely something that it, it adds such value to the patio. You can see here how much of the space is really shaded. And um, it just adds another layer uh, to your, you know, bringing the indoors out type of thing. Um, with this particular unit, it is just a retractable awning. So unlike some of the other crazier uh, things that we have uh, gone on here to see, um, it's not something that can be kept out in the rain. Mm -hmm. Now with this one, it is a roof mount. So don't be worried that if you don't have a wall space above a sliding glass door, because sometimes in ranch homes, you don't really have that, that second floor that you can really install your awning on. So you do have the ability to install on the roof. And you can see here how we have the lovely challenge of the fireplace. I know, this is crazy. Else. It looks like it's levitating. <laughs> yeah, so what happens there, there are roof mount brackets that the guys have to adjust in order to make that pitch to clear that, um, to clear the chimney area there. Oh so, gosh, and it's amazing, and you can just see crazy. How wide of an area that um, from, you know, how far it retracts out the projection Mm -hmm. and um, how wide the awning can be. So some of these awnings, we just installed an awning yesterday mm -hmm. uh, that was 28 feet wide. 28 or, feet wide. Yeah, a retractable Holy awning. Yeah, it took, four guys, it took four guys to put it up. But yeah, um, yeah that's so crazy. It, they, can, they can be made pretty wide. So Wow. And, and this, this is, is it view. from underneath. And what's really cool and interesting is you can see how fun is their patio furniture with the mm -hmm. yellow mm -hmm. and everything else. And very sunny and yeah, happy. Very bright and happy. And then picking out your awning fabric to really tie in to the aesthetic of your space. So this mm -hmm. uh, particular client went with a stripe. You do have the flexibility to go with a solid fabric. And then you do have, you can pick what style balance you want to go with. So okay. um, some people will go with wave or I, I prefer the straight me personally, something just clean line, but there are different ways to do it. So very, very nice. You guys do an amazing job. Thank you. All right. So just a quick commercial break for anyone who just joined us. What you yes. guys are listening to is Window Treatment Friday Live, which is a broadcast, I suppose, <laughs> <laughs> that Kim and I do. We have been doing it for a year and a half now. This is our episode 81, I believe, yes. where she and I talk. We get together here every Friday morning at 9 a.m. and we banter about window treatments. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, <laughs> the challenge, the, the all of it, whatever. If you guys have questions, go ahead and type them into the chat or you can send them to us ahead of time. But we just, um, we, we show some of our work. We show some of other people's work. We feature into your designers that we either work with or are inspired by. So this is our way of educating interior designers and the public on all things window treatments. All right, so this project, the next four pictures will be a project that we did for a wonderful designer here locally. She, Her name is Anita Householder. I've also featured her here many times. The name of her firm is House Edits, and she found me through Luann's podcast. So she's the one designer who I can clearly and directly trace the link to her finding me to the podcast. Whereas a lot of times with a lot of other people, sometimes even with marketing, you don't know exactly how mm -hmm. people find you. It's sometimes they say it's seven touches. Some people say it's nine touches. I've heard it as many as like 13 different touch points. Oh, wow. And people just see you and hear you from different places, maybe podcast being one of them. Well, Anita found me directly through the podcast. She told me many times that 
she has been listening to me and Luann and she has been wishing that I was local and how great would it have been to to work together and one day it just kind of dawned on her that oh my god Vita is local why don't I give her a call and so the very first time we met was two days before the lockdown for the pandemic so that's another very memorable thing that Anita and I (laughs) have together we have a lot of things so but you know on to the happier note a very uh, happy memorable project that we did together this past year in 2021 is this this entire house renovation that she did um, she started it at the beginning of the year and I think it pretty much went on for the most of the year so um, I'm just going to show you some pictures individual pictures of different rooms but it's really it's kind of like in totality all together having having done that house was just an amazing experience so this particular one is um, a lovely roman shade that we did for the homeowner's daughter with very cute um trim from Mm -hmm. from uh, so the fabric is from stout and i can't exactly remember maybe the trim is from stout as well but i distinctly remember that fabric Mm -hmm. is stout fabric as well pretty this was lovely. Uh huh. Okay. This was um, an, an, another kid's room. And what I wanted to point out here is Anita is a risk taker, and you can tell how she combines yeah. ball patterns. So there's a big ball pattern of the wallpaper with a big, very different yet very ball pattern mm-hmm. in the Roman shade. So that was really pretty cool. And I have to say, most of the Roman shades that we did were motorized as oh, well, nice. as well as the roller shades that we did, where a lot of them were motorized. So here's a picture of the dining room. Um, a lot of the, we did a lot of draperies for this project and a lot of them, Anita is a big fan of velvet fabric. So Ooh. a lot of drapes are very rich and luscious. And this was a beautiful green velvet and it reminded me of Scarlett O'Hara, you know, how she pulls down the drapes <laughs> and she wraps them up. <laughs> so I, I lovingly refer to these as our Scarlett O'Hara drapes. <laughs> <laughs> now are these real quick are these installed into a pocket um no actually what is happening there um no actually what you're seeing is part of the coffered ceiling there on instagram yeah but it's just it's a boxed window essentially it's just kind of pushed out a bit and uh it's in the picture it's a bit obscured by the coffered ceiling at the top and by the chandelier but it's actually installed on very very pretty gold hardware you would really like it okay. with french returns and oh. the gold really matched the chandelier that anita picked out here perfect so it was very lovely and uh, here we have just a very simple cornice um in the master bath and off to the side is the master closet and both had this plaid fabric in different styles and these are motorized roller shades um, in in both rooms so just wanted to give you kind of a sampling of what we did here for anita in this house every room had some kind of window treatment Um, mostly there were layered there was either a roman shade or a roller shade with some sort of topper um, on the top either a cornice or a valance so this was a huge project for us a very big project for anita as well and anytime i know that kim I know that you know, but just to kind of let our listeners know, whenever you have a full house of window treatments, anytime you have a full house gut or renovation, and then you layer on top of that window treatments, it just gets very complicated, very need to be very detail oriented. And <clears throat> the ability to work together and communicate between the window treatment professional and the interior designer is just paramount. I cannot you know, say enough about it and that's the type of relationship that we have with Anita right now we've had it the entire year it was just very collaborative and just knowing that we have each other's back was everything to us so love you Anita (laughs) all right that's it Alrighty, everyone. So this concludes number or episode number 81 before we let you all go we just have a couple of uh Goody free goodies and a couple of things that we want to uh, let you know. Uh, so if you are new to the window treatment uh, market, uh, whether you're an interior designer or a retail client and you're just now starting to think about window treatments for your project and you're not really sure where to start, what styles are, you know, what a Roman shade is versus uh, a roller shade. Um, Luann wrote an, uh, an ebook, uh, basically a window treatment guide 101. Uh, head on over to our website windowworksnj.com and you can download your free copy today and from vitalia inc we also have a a free 
gift for you. You can grab yours at vitaliainc.com and it is curated lookbook filled with inspiration and education. We call it 37 and a half window treatment ideas for you to um, use, swipe and steal and use immediately on your next design project. So head on over to vitaliainc.com and you can grab yours today. And to keep up with all things Miss Luann, because she has a lot of exciting things coming down the pipeline, head on over to LuannNigera.com. And that is also where you can listen to the audio version of Window Treatment Friday, where this whole live experience kind of was born from, where Luann and Vita discuss uh, more of the business side of window treatments versus the pretty. Vita and I love to bring you the pretty. Luann and Vita love to talk about you know, the grind of how we get to the pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you totally hit the nail on the head. We actually just recorded our newest episode. It's going to be a three-part series. And so it's within the Window Treatment Friday kind of sub-series of her podcast. And it's going to be three different episodes on pricing, how to how to understand pricing, how to price window treatments, some of the mindset things associated with um, pricing window treatments because they are expensive, can be expensive and are are an investment for 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 the end consumer. So being able to sell them and to have the right state of mind and really understand how pricing on those works. That's what we had talked about in the very first episode that we did. We covered some of the basics, the difference between margin, markup, multipliers, and um, how to kind of understand mm. the financials of um, of uh, not specifically window treatments, but in general, how to understand um, the right the financials of any business will say right oh and that's me so um if you guys enjoyed this episode and we hope that you did um for anybody who just joined us let me tell you again this is a window treatment live which is a broadcast that kim and i do every friday morning at 9 a.m where she and i get together on instagram and facebook and we banter about window treatments, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything in between. So it's it's education and inspiration and all things window treatments. Oh. Oh. I guess. Did I just, did, did it just go? It, it just ended on us, I guess. Instagram, Instagram, Instagram just ended. Instagram oh, that's said, interesting. no mas, you're done. You no talk mas, a lot. okay. That Make, we, apparently we did. Did, did they change it again, maybe? So now it's only you're allowed to do 30 minutes? Are you serious? <laughs> I can't see that. That's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Anyway. So let's just finish up on Facebook. and um, Okay. Let me take this ahead, out of the way. All right. Yeah. And um, to everybody out here on Facebook, if you have a window treatment and awning project and you're located in the New Jersey and New York area, um, please give us a call. We would be happy to assist you on your next project. Hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. And thank you guys for joining us today. Yes. Kim, I've missed you. I can't yes, wait to see you every Friday for the next foreseeable future. Yes. And I can't <laughs> wait to see you in person. I don't know when that's going to be next, but hopefully. I do. I'm going to tell you when we get off, actually, sooner than you may think. Yay. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we can't share that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank, and thank you. you for joining us. We'll see you next weekend. Bye. Bye.